Chapter 8. No! I uttered a shocked cry. My hands fumbled frantically over the desktop. I left the camera there. I knew I had. But no. No camera. My eyes swept around the room. I had just straightened up. Everything was in place. The desktop. The dresser. No camera. No camera. I dropped to my knees and searched under the bed. No camera. I crawled over to the closet, pulled open the door, and searched across the floor. As I searched, another wolf howl burst into my room. Higher. Shriller. And then I heard two howls together. The siren-like wails blending in a strange, sour harmony. Was it Mr. and Mrs. Marling? As I climbed to my feet, I heard a scraping sound. Wood against wood. The sound of a window opening. I heard a heavy thud, feet landing hard on the ground. And then I heard low, grou- low grunts, heavy, thudding footsteps, footsteps right outside my room. I dove back to the window. Breathlessly, my heart pounding, I stared out. Too late. No one out there now. All dark. The orange light gone from the Marling's window. The house completely covered in black again. The trees shaking, black against the blue black sky. The leaves, silvery, shimmering under the bright light of the moon. I stared out there for a long moment, waiting for my heart to stop racing, listening for the high howls, the heavy thudding footsteps. Silence now. My camera. I forced myself to turn away from the window. I hurried out of the room and down the short hall to the living room. Did I leave the camera case here when Hannah and I returned from the woods? No. No sign of it. I checked the kitchen. Not their arrival. Aunt Marta! Uncle Colin! I called them. My voice came out tinier than I planned. I ran back down the hall, past my room, past the bathroom and the linen closet. Their room stood at the end. Have you seen my camera anywhere? I cried. I shoved open the door to their bedroom dark in there, dark and empty. I could smell Aunt Mata's flowery perfume and the sharp odor of photo developing fluid. They have gone out to the woods to photograph animals, I realized. I'm all alone here. I took a deep breath and held it. Calm down, Alex, I instructed myself. You're perfectly okay, You're perfectly safe. You will find your camera as soon as you get calm. It's probably right out in plain sight, but you're so crazy and pumped up, you can't see it. Just calm down. I took another long, deep breath. I was starting to feel calmer. I closed my aunt and uncle's bedroom door and started back down the hall. I was halfway to my room when I heard the soft scraping sound and then the thud of footsteps. I froze and listened. More footsteps, heavy thuds. Where were they coming from? Overhead? Yes. I peered up at the low ceiling. Another scraping sound. More thudding footsteps. They're in the attic, I realized. Whatever those howling creatures are, they're in the house.